Now we're going to warp our moon in a slightly more complex way. For this, you'll need your loom, your heddle bar, and your warp thread or yarn. I like to keep the warp thread either on the floor or behind me in the chair. This keeps it out of the way so that it doesn't get snagged. All right. Starting off with our warp thread, I'm going to tie it into a slip knot, which you wrap around your fingers, bring it around and through the fingers in a loop. Pull it tight. Need to loosen that a little. And there's your slip knot. I'm going to slip that over the first peg over here and tighten it because we don't want it slipping off. All right, so, and the other end we'll just set to the side. We'll weave that in later. First thing that we'll do is we'll take the warp thread and we'll stretch it across the heddle bar into the first slot on the heddle bar. We take it up to the first slot on the other side, the first slot. Bring it around and bring it back down through the second slot right here. And you might need to press that down. Do not rush through this. Do not pull them too tight, but also you don't want them to be too loose. Bring it back down to the second slot in the heddle bar. Push it down. Bring it down. And this you're going to bring back to the first slot right here. You're going to put it through the first slot. Bring it around into the second slot right here beside it. I have brought it down and put it in the first slot and I'm bringing it back through the second one. I'll bring it up through the third slot on the heddle bar. Now I'm putting it back to the second slot at the top. There will end up being two warp threads in each slot. So I'm going to put it down in the second slot, bring it around, and bring it back through the third slot. I'll bring it back down and put it in the next slot of my heddle bar. Sometimes you may have to press it down a little. Whatever you need to do to keep the heddle bar straight and even. I'll bring it back down and I'm putting it back through my second slot down here at the first row. The second slot. Take it around and go through the third slot. Make sure it's down in there if you need to. You can gently press them down. Bring it up and we're putting it through the next heddle slot. Bringing it up and putting it back through the third slot. And then back around through the fourth one and through the next slot on the heddle bar. Be careful because the heddle bar will sometimes turn and your threads will fall out of the slot and then you have to put them back in. I'm bringing it back down and I'm putting it back down in the third 
slot, one, two, three, right here, and around to the fourth slot. Bring it down to your heddle bar, put it in the next empty slot, then to the far side, and I'm putting it in the same slot that my last warp thread went through. Put it down in there, wrap it around, and bring it through the next one to the heddle bar and down into the fourth slot again. And then we'll wrap it around to the fifth one. And this is what you do all the way across. Make sure you're paying attention and don't let your heddle bar fall. Again, good idea to keep your warp thread behind you or lower than your loom, whatever it is that helps you do it the best. All right, bring it up to the heddle bar to the last slot that has one thread in it, right here, taking it up into that slot, wrapping it around. You can press it down if you need to, down to the heddle bar, and down through the slot that has only one warp thread through it. Wrap it down in there and then around back through the heddle bar, the next empty slot, then to the slot at the end, the warp hex that has one thread through it, wrap it around, bring it down, press it down if you need to, and back through your heddle bar. Again, do not try to rush through this. You'll just cause yourself more headaches. Don't pull them too tight. You have to find the middle road with this. You don't want them too tight and you don't want them too loose. and you're just going back and forth through your heddle bar. The thing to remember is that each warp thread or each warp slot will have two warp threads in it. You do it down, bring it around, and up through the heddle bar, through the slot, down and around. This may be a little awkward feeling to you at first. That's okay. It's awkward to everybody at first. Keep in mind, every slot gets two of the warp threads or the yarn. You're doing down and around through the heddle bar, down and around and bring it back. If you make a mistake, it's okay. You just go back and you pull them out and get back to where you were before. And we're just going down through the different slots. This takes some coordination. It definitely takes attention because you don't want to finish up and then suddenly realize, uh-oh, in the middle, I forgot to do two warp threads in one of the ends.
it's very possible that your heddle bar would end up falling in or turning over, the threads may slip out, all of these things may happen. Just be aware of it and know that you can always fit the threads back or just take it back to the beginning and start there. There are two threads in each warp slot. These are called the warp pegs and you're going around the warp peg, but there's only one thread in each pedal slot. And if you notice, the pedal slot actually has these slots longer on one side and shorter. And that's going to help move our threads as we weave. You need to be aware of everything that your yarn is doing. Remember, you are in charge of it, but you have to pay attention. When you go too fast, that's when careless mistakes happen and they end up costing you more time than if you had taken your time in the first place. This is not a race. Right here, I've got a warp thread that's a little high. I'm going to go in and just press it down because I don't want them to slip out while I am warping my loom. Make sure that you get them in the proper petal slots. Now, I'm looking back down here and it looks like I missed one of my petal slots right here. Uh-oh, so I've got a couple of choices. I can either take all of my warp threads up to that point or I can try to gently move all of them over one space. I'm going to give that a try and see if it works. If it does, great. If it doesn't, no big deal. I'll take it back to that point and start over from there. All right, so I'm trying to be very, very careful putting these through, trying not to yank them because I don't want them to get um, too loose in the different sections. All right, now I'm going to go back through and I'm looking. I think I've got them all properly in the huddle slots. So I'm going back to my warping, just down and around and through. And I'm making sure that I get them in the proper petal slots. I don't want to have to go back and redo it. Try to keep some extra warp thread or yarn, whichever you're using, help keep it loose so that you'll have it and it won't tug on you unexpectedly. Let's pull it through and down. Make sure you get it in the proper huddle slot. Be careful of the little wing nuts on the sides that can catch your warp yarn. And if you're not careful, it could pull your huddle off balance. 
you have to keep an even pressure going down because that huddle bar will, it will move and rock. Don't think that's only happening to you. It can happen to anyone. It certainly has happened to me. So I'm bringing it around and through again, down through my slot on the huddle bar, down into my slots at my warp pegs, Okay, through my huddle slot. How many warp threads go to a warp slot in the warp pegs? Mm -hmm. You know, it's two. Bring it down and around. And then back through. It may take you longer to warp your loom. Then this video is, but I'm doing it faster because I've practiced a few times. Once you practice a few times, it will go much faster for you as well. Right. Okay, now, this is my last slot. I won't bring it back up here because there'd be nowhere for it to go and I would just end up tying it. And now I could do that, but instead I'm going to tie it off here. So I'm going to cut my warp yarn and I'd rather cut too much than too little. I'll put that to the side. All right, and then you just wrap it around the yarn. Hey, Miss Cheryl. Good morning, how are you? Fine, thank you. You wrap it around the yarn or the warp thread, bring it through, and you're going to make a knot carefully so that you don't pull it out of your warp slot. Down through. Make your knot carefully not too tight, but tight enough to hold it. And then I'm going to make it into a double knot just for a little extra hold. And again, I don't want to make that too tight. 